So I've watched through pretty much all the Kimba shit. Some of it I'm going to be like just scrolling through in the editing software here because there's no English subtitles for them anywhere. Maybe, who knows? I could find it if I try looking hard enough, but it doesn't really like based on Yeah, I know what that is. Thanks. Based on like um you know, the content of the video. <laughs> they 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 added the Lion King music. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Uh, and uh, first thing I see is I see a baboon who bears an uncanny resemblance both in appearance and in, in his moniker and in, in his, his role uh, in the picture. He's, he's playing the same. It's really not. It's really not. Same function as does Daniel Baboon in Kim of the White Lion. Oh! Sorry. Three years earlier. Uh, well, okay. You know, there, hey, there's more than one baboon out there in the jungle. I guess if you want, you can see him in uh, all the branches. I think I've seen this clip before too. And then, then there's a talking bird that appears. That's gosh, I said that's a lot like our Polly Cracker. The, 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 the parrot, the, it's not a parrot, but it's a talking bird, and uh, it's, it's, it's role is function dramatically. It, it's, it's working the same thing. He, he's he's a... oh, I'm so mad now because I saw this clip before I'd actually watched Kimba, and I just believed him. I just believed it, but now I've watched Kimba. I'm like Polly Cracker is not the same character at all. Daniel is not the same character at all. It's so, oh, oh man, I have so much to say. I'm so glad I'm doing a video on this shit. Holy fucking Christ. This is not how it started. It's not with this guy. This is not the start of the controversy, no. It's, it's, it's... Like, he's a producer of Kimba, you know? So, it's gonna be a little bi biased there, but anyway. Oh, so this is just... Or like the English version, I mean. Like, like, a, like, like him, like, you know, maybe this, this reporter, maybe the San Francisco bunch has got a point there. Well, so on, then I see two hyenas, two wisecracking smart alky hyenas. No, there's three in the film, and they're completely different characters. Boy, I said two hyenas, and, and, and they're the comic relief, and, and, and they're the sniveling villains of this thing? Wow, I said, that's really getting close to it to Kimba now. I mean, if they're mm. getting close, this certainly is. Anyway. Finally, uh, we see uh, 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 Simba. There are definitely <laughs> similarities, <laughs> but, like, before became Kimba. he's really like fucking stretching here. Against the sky with, with billowing clouds. And I turned to my wife, Arlene, and I said, Boy, I said, don't tell me they're going to pan up to the clouds. In the clouds, we're going to see the dead father's image. And mm. the camera did indeed in, in, in the... In this picture of Lion King, camera panned up, and, and, and there the clouds took the shape of, of the dead father. I said, oh. It's really oversimplifying I said, is, something that's pretty complicated. Right Sorry, I said, no, I, the... I believe that I believe that the animators that worked on it likely saw Kimba. The problem is when you're a company like Disney, and you're faced with a question that alleges copyright infringement, they have to say no, no possible way. If they give any shred of like credibility to that claim. And it's dumb that they couldn't be honest. It's dumb that they had to do that and they're just like a soulless corporation. But this is like legal shit here. This is le If they were to admit anything along those lines, that could potentially be used in court against them. So it's unsurprising that Disney would say that. And I totally believe that people that worked on The Lion King had seen Kimba. That's 100% completely probable, right? Um, that is not really the, the issue at hand here, though. And, and there's just, just so much similarity there that, that I, I think one cannot just literally try to explain it away. Yeah. I really hope, like, honestly, like, the... If anybody's just, like, watching this shit, if this makes it onto, like, the, like, Highlights channel or, or, or whatever, give me a fucking chance to make my video because it is so much more complicated than you realize. And the majority of people that are complaining that I'm taking this stance against the Kimba allegation are people who have not actually seen the show. And now I've seen pretty much fucking all... <coughs> <coughs> pretty much fucking all of it at this point. And I gotta say, like, it's a really unfair comparison. And that's part of what... That's the most... Most of the reason I'm making this video is because it's an incredibly unfair comparison. When most of the similarities are common tropes that are used outside of Kimba that were not invented by Kimba... Right? And it's like, oh, there are some animals in the in Africa. They used some of the same animals. There's only so many animals in Africa, and Kimba used all of them. If if like if the main enemy was like an African wild dog, there'd be tons of Kimba clips to, to show African wild dogs 
and how Disney ripped them off in that sense. Like, the, comparing 90 minutes of a film to 3,000 minutes of several TV shows and films is absolutely unfair, and it falls under the same category as, like, Simpsons did it, which is an episode of South Park where they uh, address the criticisms of, like, oh, you, you're not allowed to do that. Simpsons did it. It's like, well, Simpsons did everything, right? So... Anyway, yeah, give me a chance for my video before you start reacting to this is all I got to say. Give me a chance to like actually make my case in a edited proper format because all it took was me saying that I don't think that the Lion King crew and writers and directors ripped off Kimba in a way that would constitute as copyright infringement or in a way that like would even be considered ripping off at all. Like, Bear, at very most, they could say they were inspired by Kimba. But Disney is not a company that's going to allow them to say that when the only thing that brings it to attention is, is like, did you rip off Kimba? Of course they're going to go on the extreme defense, right? Anyway, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my video and hopefully... Yeah, I don't know if any of these long ass hour long lectures are going to talk about that at all. I'm not really willing to go through them, honestly. I want to get on my Lion King review, so. But yeah, you look at shit like this. The biography on Tezuka's IMDb page. This is the first thing that showed up. Literally, if you're on mobile, this is the only thing that shows up in his biography. Tezuka wrote slash animated a Japanese TV series. Janguru Tatai. That was turned into a USA syndicated series in the 60s called Kimba the White Lion. This story was then plagiarized by the Disney company in 1994 and became The Lion King, the most profitable film of all time. And Tezuka has never received due credit from Disney for his creation, much less any money. I'm sorry, that is a gross fucking oversimplification. And I get that this is an IMDb biography. First of all, do you not have any more important things to actually say about this person? That this, the only thing you have to say about Tezuka, basically like the godfather of anime, is like... He was plagiarized by the Lion King. They stole his work. It's like, that's not how this shit works. That's not how any of this shit works, and people are so fucking stupid. And the reason why I'm taking this position is not against the original complaint by Tezuka or his production company, but because of how people view this in current year, where you can get shit like this, which completely just is, is so... not only disrespectful, but downright libelous i don't know what what is the correct word for this uh what's the other word for libel there's another word anyway yeah it's like it making claims of like actual plagiarism when they're two completely different slander that's the word two completely different properties and the comparisons are incredibly unfair and on quite honestly like yeah, I'm with, with 3000 minutes of Kimba where they did fucking everything that there is to do in Africa <laughs> to the point where they were like <laughs> in Paris <laughs> in certain episodes like it's 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 a classic case of Simpsons did it and I challenge fucking anyone who wants to create a show about like lions in Africa an animated lions film where the father dies and it's about reclaiming his place in the kingdom and there's an evil bad guy with a, a scar or whatever. That that basic formula, even if you ignore all of those specifics, just lions in the jungle. Make make a compelling, seriously toned film about lions in the jungle that's animated, and ev no matter what you create, Kimba will have done it. That's the problem. It's great. Uh, you may know of another famous, uh, if Kimba was was released after Disney with Disney sue, probably. But just because someone sues someone else doesn't mean that they're in the right. I wouldn't really agree was, with uh, Disney if they did that. Astro Boy was around. We all had Rudolph. Okay, I didn't know that was the inspiration for that. Dan That's Van funny. Uh, it was Jacques who said it appeared to be Polly Cracker. Daniel's a shitty name. Everyone all had that keen about the nomenclature, but those were the names and they stuck. I'm like actually shocked that in this video here that he says that Daniel 
and Polycracker are anything like Rafiki and Zazu and fill the same purposes? That they're anything then, similar in character at all? Because that is the, the biggest... That is the, like... Just by looking at, like, character design... A, not the same type of bird. Sure, baboon... Yeah, that's very... I, I think Rafiki is a baboon. I, I think the... I don't know if mandrel is just another word for baboon, but anyway. Completely different bird, first of all. Second... The characters are, like, not the same at all. Like, that is what really changed my mind on this shit. <clears throat> it was watching the show. When I went into this project, when I went into to this, watching Kimba the White Lion, I had believed every single bit of propaganda that was on the internet about this. I believed all of it. And it was only after watching the show that I started to be like, wait a minute, this is kind of bullshit. So he became Daniel uh, so we literally broke our way out of the studio. It was pitch black. Not a window in the place. Nothing. We were getting toward evening anyhow. And we broke our way down the stairs to the street. In pitch black, there's stumbling down steps. So that's the day I'll never forget. We were halfway through the fire. We came in a few days later when things had returned to near normal. We finished the fire. Wanted... People are trying to discredit me on this position without having watched the show. Like all of the several posts in my subreddit of people commenting, being like, "I think Adam's a little biased here. He just loves the Lion King a lot." And none of them have watched the show. So none of them the have I'm watched the Kimba. Movie. They what? None of them have said they watched it. That's the problem. People just believe this bullsh- Ah, whatever. Just watch my fucking video and it's yes. out. So that's the day I'll never forget. We were halfway through the park. Well, the I don't think that anybody- They have something else. And the standards well, are uh, more permissive in, in one direction than they are here. And conversely, there might be uh, more, more permission here than in- I don't think that anybody promoting the idea that Kimba played- Or sorry, Kimba was plagiarized by the Lion King. I don't think that they are acting maliciously. I, I, I will much more quickly- assume ignorance than malice uh and that's just a part of my character right um people i can understand how people can believe it who have seen the show uh the people that have created these comparison videos and shit however they are acting very unfaithfully and i don't know if it's intentional or not but they are being very very incredibly manipulative and in, in, in how they present their information especially by using using clips from the 1997 kimba film to be like look this looks like similar to the lion king they ripped it off that came out three years after the lion king how can you put that in your video how can you do that honestly i don't know what your intentions were there but that's fucking bullshit that's insane i'm sorry <laughs> like that's fucking ridiculous kimba is not one film kimba is like four tv shows and like four movies and that those are what are being compared is one 90 minute lion king film versus 3000 not even kidding 3000 minutes of kimba it's an insanely unfair comparison when you're picking and choosing from like any single spot in any of the series saying like that shot looks similar what the fuck Kimba does sound like simba adam simba does sound like kimba yeah because simba means lion in swahili Simba means lion in Swahili. That's that's where the name comes from. That's where the name comes from. It, they didn't rip. They didn't go like, oh, what's a good name to use? Kimba. Let's do Simba. How fucking stupid do you think they would be if they were gonna try plagiarizing something that to have to change one letter? If that was their goal the entire time? Sorry, I was joking. What does Kimba mean? Kimba is a variation on Simba, Lion, and Swahili. He talks about it right here. We just went over this clip. He, he said that when they were uh, doing the American dub for NBC, that they, decide, they decided on so something like Simba, and then they were like, no, that's not marketable because anybody can use Simba because it's a common word. So if we're going to merchandise it, it has to be slightly differently. So they went, they went with Kimba. Right? So it's not unreasonable to assume that the Lion King creators would choose Simba because it means lion in Swahili and that hadn't been done before in any kind of merchandising popular thing. Right? It was all that much harder to do it in color. 
I'm just putting that clip there to remind myself to talk about the black and white color thing. Because it is, like, I want to give Kimba as much credit as possible. I'm not saying, like, oh, ignore anything that this show did because I disagree with the controversy or anything. Because it was the first color animation broadcasting on Japanese television, which is pretty landmark. It's pretty cool. And Tezuka obviously, like, contributed a shit ton towards, like, the evolution of, like, anime and shit. Like, he's literally the godfather of anime. So do you generally enjoy Kimba, or are we waiting for the review to find out? Do I generally enjoy Kimba? Uh, ironically, mostly. I'm glad I watched through it. But it was fucking exhausting. And I wish that I wasn't doing it for work so I could have spaced it out a bit more. Because watching this shit over and over and over and over and over again, nonstop, no matter which series, it's just fucking, it's so exhausting. It's an exhausting show, all of them. <laughs> this is, there's some things about this that are just like really funny. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> this bitch with the long neck is Caesar's wife. Um, Caesar is, like, freeing a bunch of animals, and they're like, that's bad. So they kidnap his wife, because they're like, we don't know how to fuck this lion up, but women are fucking defenseless, so let's get, let's get the w woman lion, um, and he knows he's walking into a trap, too, uh... He dies. No prize, no win. Perhaps when you have a child, it will be a boy. You can call it Kimba. Kimba. <laughs> no win. There's like a. Ch I don't know. If we're gonna talk about similar character designs, this is basically the Cheshire Cat, right? Yeah, the mice from Cinderella. I don't know. Debatably, if we're, I mean, like, if we were being as charitable from as like. The people that are claiming that the Lion King plagiarized Kimba, then yeah. Like, the entire the entire animation style of drawing animal characters with really big eyes, which was basically, like, the foundation of anime, that was an inspiration from Walt Disney, and Tezuka was pretty open and honest about that. I think episode one, like, this is the most plot I'm going to be talking about. I think the rest of the episodes after this I'm going to be like just getting like little bits and pieces, right? Um so yeah, he sees his dead mom in the stars. People say the Lion King ripped that off. But for being honest, over the course of all these shows, like they're constantly fucking hallucinating shit. Like <laughs> it's not just limited to the stars, right? Um, or the clouds or the moon or whatever, right? Like, these are these are common tropes. That's part of the issue here, is that, like, not only... Like, Kimba didn't invent this shit, first of all. Like, if, if you can make a reasonable claim that if Kimba hadn't existed, would the Lion King be the same? I think that's a there's a reasonable argument to make for that. Like, the the things that exist that people claim the Lion King ripped off are incredibly common basic tropes. Like, Kimba didn't invent having a villain with a scar on his face. Like, that's not a thing that... Like, that's such a common thing. And what's really frustrating about it is, like, he doesn't even have a scar on his face in this particular show. He doesn't, he doesn't get a scar on his face until, like, the 1989 show. And so people just, like, pick and choose which versions of Kimba are being ripped off at any moment in time. It's like Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's Kimba. It's like, I don't know, if you're, if you're comparing it to, like, 3,000 minutes, then, yeah, you're going to find some things that are similar. Yeah, like, what I, what I want to get some good footage of would be, like, a bunch of villains with scars on their face or whatever throughout history or like disfigured villains right you could make somewhat of an argument for like the witch from snow white um that was before kimba 
Um, other exi- like I'm not super familiar with older film, but I know that Kimba didn't invent that shit, right? I know there's examples in like James Bond. There's tons of scarred villains in James Bond, but I don't know which. I don't know how old James Bond is. James Bond was like the '60s, right? Yeah, I would. I would want to stray away from from using examples that are like post Kimba, though, because. I don't know. My argument is that Kimba didn't invent this shit, right? These fucking... An- they're so annoying. Right? So, hyena, sidekick villains, right? In these first few episodes, there's, like, a decent amount of similarities. Um, but as the show goes on, it's like, you realize that the core of each product is, like, entirely different. The human conflict is like a huge difference like almost every single fucking episode of this show has like a human conflict Go right King Claude once. whereas i think the lion king was like the first disney film without human characters in it and yeah the idea of like lions being king of the jungle that wasn't invented by kimba right so it's like when you're working with things that are like entirely just like colloquial basic understandings things that are are already tropes like it's it's unreasonable to say that like just because someone else somewhere else came up with a couple things that were similar but the only similarities are literally just tropes it's like there's nothing original that kimba did that you can also find in the lion king is the problem like no- nothing that nothing that Kimba did that is also found in the Lion King is something that Kimba invented. That is, it's nothing that isn't like just a huge trope. <laughs> Such a funny scene. I'll remove the the log from the front of the boat. Just the animation here. Where where where? He just shot them with purple goo. It's such a weird scene. So bizarre. We like walk through the desert. All right. So here is Claw, which people say Scar is a ripoff of. <laughs> I'm in a pool of water, Claw. <laughs> Are you afraid to try? Who's afraid? Oh, so funny. Oh. Yeah, here's fucking Polly freaking out. This is like that that's what pisses me off by him saying they're the same character. It's like Polly I'm gonna have like tons of clips of this by the end of this, by the way. Polly is like constantly fucking like Rawr! like my fists in the air he's like he's got a short temper that's not zazu at all i'm sorry like that's that's like one of the most defining parts of Polly's character is that he's short tempered that's character defining <laughs> this f- oh my god <sighs> yeah i'm going to be marking off clips for colony Alism. Because <laughs> that's like an incredibly common theme in this shit. Uh-huh, it's so weird! Let's just be chivalized like the humans. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is this is literally a part of his character. Like, how can you say that Zazu is this? This is constant. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. He's so cocky. Don't say Zazu is the same character. You f- Ugh. Like, I have to believe that it's not malicious and they're just stupid. Zazu is the same character as that. Fuck off. So as you can already tell, we're like four episodes in. Claw has like disappeared. Right? He's not really 
like he shows back up, but like it's it's not like the this the scar presence in the Lion King. Like most the vast majority of episodes have nothing to do with him. Didn't Kimba have a movie also? Didn't Kimba have a movie also? Kimba has like four movies and yes, I've watched them. It's insane. It's abs I uh, I've watched way too much of this shit. I've watched way too much of this shit. It's ridiculous. How do you recognize him? He, you weren't even born. You weren't even born before he died. How do you recognize him? It was kind of funny. <laughs> His dead. It's so ridiculously fucking morbid. Ugh. Oh yeah, there was like a Reddit post that I need to read through. A brief guide to the Kimba allegations and questions for future reference. Lion King's couple of misconceptions. Hey, anyone interested in signing the Lion King inspiration from Kimba? Hopefully, there's enough primary source evidence to support this. If got anything wrong, any information, let me know. This post is not about quality, which is better. The facts of the case, I don't think the claim deserved to be dismissed as completely bonkers. However, some, however, over enthusiastic some Kimba fans might be, and they have exaggerated a bit. More importantly, this deals with the company ethics and the wider view of the truth if you want to have an opinion of this here's the info if you need what is the allegation about the allegation is that specific character design and relationship with certain plot points from kimba the white lion jungle emperor leo were lifted for use without acknowledgement in disney's the lion king the allegation has never been that the entire plot was lifted uh the tezuka state themselves and that they are considered the lion king different story entirely and would have been flattered by disney's imitation tezuka was a disney fan if they acknowledged it it has nothing to do with the name similarity, which was... Yeah, exactly. Like, see, this is shit that I already know. That's not my issue. Is not, like... My argument is not against the original claim. My argument is not against Tezuka. My argument is against the public perception of what this currently is and the people who have allowed this public perception to happen with incredibly misleading videos, incredibly misleading articles, that this is news to people right now. To be like, oh, this is wasn't what the actual claim was about, right? Like that's that's my problem in the first place. <laughs> wildly different version. Not including the Lion King, the Dead's Dead Skin, the interaction with humans, delightful trips to Paris are chalked down to the fact that Kimba is a series. Lion King is an eighty-four minute movie as for blah, 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 who headed up a petition along the arts to acknowledge similarities. Nobody is claiming that the theory, the series stories are identical. However, when my observation Bations first reached Disney. I was told to ab abruptly that Disney had never heard of the story Kimba White Lion. Sorry, has never heard of Kimba White Lion. At least a subtle paying homage to Tezuka or a few lines paying respect to the origin of the story should be included. Tezuka state acknowledged the similarities but refused to litigate due to the power of Disney's attorneys, as well as Tezuka would have been honored by inspiration, sure. Key similarities disputed are the plot point of an exiled lion with a dead father must come to reclaim the throne of a usurper. During childhood, he has a close relationship with a lioness. Cu <sighs> you can't you can't include the fact that he has a love interest as a similarity. I'm sorry, that's bullshit. I'm sorry, that's insane. You like, oh man, like I really don't want to be offensive to this person that obviously put like a lot of thought and effort into this post but like he has a close relationship with a lioness cub that's what 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 story didn't have a love interest with the main character like that's that's the, on the checklist like these are these are all tropes like the have fun, son. oh right. my god usurper being a said usurper being a dark furred black maned lion with a scar over his left eye uh, he doesn't have a scar over the left eye. His left eye is closed. There's several other characters in the show with scars over the left eye. It's a trope. Perhaps that is similar. That is something that I'm willing to admit. It's incredibly similar. But my argument is that, like, it is entirely possible and plausible for someone to have come up with that design completely independently of Kimba existing, right? So when you look at tropes, when you want to make a villain and all of the villains are the same species, and they all have fur, you're going to make them the darker color. 
Like if they're, you're not going to make the villain a white lion, right? That's just that's not a trope. Like we're we're talking about Disney. We're talking about like we're talking about a company. And yeah, I give a lot of credit to these individual writers and directors on the project. Like they really created the Lion King. Like it wasn't so much Disney, but yeah, we're talking about making something that will appeal to the masses, right? And when you do that, you're following certain checklists. And I've complained a lot about these checklists because in many ways they harm films. Um, but like, yeah, it's it's the villain is going to be a darker shade than the other characters. Like, that's not something that Kimba invented, right? And the facial deformity on a villain is not something that Kimba invented. Like, if if this can be explained away by an unfortunate coincidence... I don't understand why people are so quick to accuse the creators of The Lion King of plagiarism. It's really sad. Because, like, there's... here. Here's an example. So, Requiem for a Dream and Dark City came out the exact same year. And they both have ending sequences with Jennifer Connelly... Stare, staring out onto the edge of a pier on a dock a, with the ocean in the background, and it looks like the same fucking shot. But they were shot the same year, and there couldn't have possibly been any kind of communication between them. Like, they, they, neither of them ripped each other off. They came out the same year. Like, they were completely different properties. It was an unfortunate coincidence. If one came out earlier than the other, they would have been accused of plagiarism. Sometimes these things happen, right? And and in, in that particular case, that one's particularly confusing because it's, like, not only the same actor, but, like, the same type of idea, and it's so weird, right? Um, just, like, this weird, bizarre coincidence. When we're dealing with the shit from Kimba and the Lion King, all of these similarities are either chalked up to a, there's only so many animals in Africa. Some are going to be colloquially considered by human beings as like more negative or more positive, right? You're not going to have a bird as the villain. That's not something that you're going to do. That doesn't make sense for the story, right? Like, you're going to have to choose between like other lions hyenas maybe african wild dogs maybe panthers maybe a tiger there's only so many right if you're going to work with animals that exist in africa only so many that could possibly be the villain and beyond that beyond the like oh some of these characters are the same species even though they really are not the same, and I hate that people say that they're the same characters. Um, other than that, like, the rest of it is literally just, like, tropes. Yeah, the villain's going to be a darker color. It's a Disney film. Dark is associated with negativity. Right? This is the 90s we're talking about. Things were very tropey. The facial deformity. Like, why? Here's my question. Why on earth would Disney think that what made success Kimba successful was a scar over the left eye of the villain or something like that? It seems ridiculous. Kimba... None, none, none of what was included in The Lion King was any reason why Kimba was successful. The, the core of Kimba had nothing to do with any of the similarities with the Lion King. And when we're talking about like the plot point of an exiled lion with a dead father and like these core themes of the show, they're not really like it's in the pilot episode, but like the entire show jumps around theme to theme to theme to theme. Every episode is about some new fucking thing. It really doesn't stay consistent or it's not a part of the core. And when you jump around with a show like Kimba and you tackle every single possible fucking thing, then yeah, another series that comes along or another show that comes along, another film that comes along, if they want to do a film about lions and the dad dies and there's an evil lion that's a darker skin with a facial deformity, 
Or even if we remove those, I can't believe I'm even going that far. If you want to have a show about lions, period, you're going to find a billion similarities to Kimba, because they did everything. That's the problem. <laughs> and we're going to go through this. And I'll have a good video out by the end of this. Anyway. The Usurper's henchmen being comedy relief hyenas. Yep, yeah, again, as I said, only so many animals. The Young Lion's advisors, including a... He's not an advisor. Did this person who wrote this watch the show? A mandrel who performs sector... Se sec what is that word? Can someone... Can so <laughs> None of you are on audio. I don't know if I've heard this word before. S sacerdotal? Sacerdotal? Sa what the fuck is that? I've never heard that word before. Sacred duties, I guess. Um, sacerdotal. <laughs> Why not just sacred? And a comedic warthog? Okay, this, this, this fucking right here, this right here is like evidence to me that the person who wrote this post, and I'm, I feel so bad for criticizing you because you put so much work into this. This right here is evidence that you have not seen Kimba, that you have not watched the whole show. Because th those comparison videos where they go like, ooh, there's a shot of a warthog here and a shot of a warthog here. There is no comedic warthog in Kimba. There's like for one episode. In the original show, it's literally one episode and he's not comedic. It's literally just like, oh, wah, poor me. Like the character's crying the entire episode. It has nothing to do with his smell. It's a completely different character. Completely different character. And this is not like, this This is evidence that you haven't seen the show because you included this with the, the bird and the mandrill. The bird and the mandrill are recurring characters throughout the entire show. The warthog is not. The warthog appears in, like, one fucking episode. That's it. Out of, like, 52 episodes. That's it. It's it's literally just, like, a stop-and-go sort of, like, everything's wrapped up by the end of an episode, new conflict the next episode, and everything's wrapped up. Like, the show is all over the fucking place. If you had seen... If you'd watched through the entire show, this would not be in your post here. I'm sorry. I feel bad that I'm criticizing you for this, but this is evidence that you have not seen the show. This is literally just evidence that you have not seen it. This is ridiculous. A confrontation confrontation between Kimba and the usurper, which leads to the hero dangling off of, off a... I think it's supposed to be Cliff. It says Clip. Here's the fucking problem, is by the end of me going through this entire fucking show, there's going to be about 60 or 70 different clips of them having battles on cliffs. Because what do you do in Africa? Like, what do you want the Lion King to do? Do you want, do you want, do you want the battle to end with Simba drowning Scar? Would that be an appropriate response? I'll give you some time to think about it. If you think that, if th that, that would be a better idea. Oh, turns out it's not because they did that in Kimba too. Kimba did everything, right? You can't just choose like five fucking seconds from from 3,000 minutes of a TV show and be like, oh, Lion King did it. Or sorry, Kimba did it, the Lion King ripped it off. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. Like, there's so many cliff scenes in this. Like, th there's nothing about Kimba battling someone on a, a cliff that was, like, core... It, it, it had nothing... It, it didn't have the same purpose as the Lion King, right? It's just, like, how many... When you're in Africa and the characters are lions, how is that an argument? What can they do? You could say like, oh, like there was a fire or something. Oh, Kimba did that too. What are you gonna do? The, there's gonna be a cliff. Oh my God. The hero's departed father appearing in a cloud to give advice. Yeah, Kimba, <laughs> Kimba's dead dad and dead mom and several other characters that aren't even his parents are hallucinated many times throughout the show in many different forms. And as we've seen right here, this is not something that Kimba fucking invented. This is not something that Kimba invented. I'm sorry, it's a trope. It's a trope. The design of pride- No! No! <laughs> I can't believe they're saying this. The design of pride rock and elephant graveyard as well as gathering of animals toward rock and- Oh, that's so bad. This person watched the propaganda videos. They didn't watch the show. They didn't even watch the show! Oh my god! 
This is why I'm making the video. This is insane. I'm sorry. They didn't watch the show. <laughs> they didn't watch the show. <laughs> oh my god. The design of Pride Rock. There is no Pride Rock in Kimba. There is no Pride. His house is a hut. His house is a hut. That's where he keeps his dead dad. There is an elephant graveyard also in Kimba, but it's not there's it's not like important to the show at all. It's in like one episode. The gathering of animals towards a rock and a benevolent king. What? If you're <laughs> the ones that I've seen comparing that have been to the 1997 film. The 1997 film created three years after The Lion King. What the fuck? Oh my god. Evidence for inspiration. Various visual similarities between the two, going as far as shot choices and as early as the development stage, not in particular how Scar originally looked. Okay. I'm gonna download this video for it. This is this is the video that pisses me off. This is the video that really fucking pisses me off. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, you're gonna have a cliff! There is no pride- The person just watched these videos! <laughs> and made this post they haven't seen Kimba! There's no way they've seen Kimba! There is no Pride Rock in Kimba! There is none! <laughs> look! Look what the fuck the- This is- f This is from like the uh... Oh, this is like from the night. Oh no, how- That's like the 2009 movie! Is this the 2009 movie? Okay, so this is- This is one that caused a lot of controversy. So this is like a concept image early concept image for the lion king and they're like there's a white lion in it there's a white lion in this yeah there's also like a darker one this is a con do you know what concept images are it's when when a studio is making a project that they're putting millions of dollars into they're going to have a wide variety of different designs they're gonna go, does this work? Does this work? No, no, no. They didn't go with that image. Why is this an argument? They didn't go with a white lion. They didn't use it. <laughs> Why is that an argument? Yeah, baboons look like baboons. Big fucking deal. Holy shit. <laughs> when you can say... <laughs> and like... Oh my god. When you consider the fact that Tezuka has openly stated that his style is based off of Disney, then yeah, probably some concept images are gonna look similar. What do you mean? How are these two images? A baby lion and a baby lion. Are you gonna, are you claiming that this is a white lion because it isn't fully colored? Are you claiming that? This shot right here is from the 1997 film. This is from 97. Look at this like to dislike ratio here. This is from 90s. This is three years after The Lion King. I'm so pissed off. I can't believe this. This is the 97 film here, too. Oh no, he's standing on a rock! Like. I, it's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Concept art. <laughs> again, not used in the film. And again, one of like 60 instances of like a cliff battle in Kimba, right? With many ver varieties of characters experiencing cliff battles. Face in the moon, again, trope, sky face, right? Like, holy shit. It's so unbelievable. Limited topography in Africa? Like, I don't know. This was done for, like, really theatrical purposes. By the way, these are all panthers, right? You look at it, if you, if you aren't familiar with Kimba and you've never seen this episode, you'd be like, oh, the villains are singing a song and Scar is leading these, like, these uh, hyenas. And it's the same song and, like, the same scene. Like, this, this is what the video is making people believe. That's what pisses me off. My audio is a bit behind. 
All right, I'm going to fix this. Hold on, BRB. I'm going to stop the stream and start it again, BRB. Yeah. So, like, complete... <laughs> this is, like, a one-off fucking shot in the show. It's not like some... There's nothing about this... <laughs> There's nothing about this that's, like, significant to the show in the way that this is significant to the show, right? Like... They wanted to end it as if it was like this, like cathedral, like the the song in the Lion King. They wanted to end it in a way where it was like you know, towered, high up villain sort of thing. You know, like brainstorming. You would come to this conclusion regardless of whether or not this shot existed. Oh my god! Oh no! Running, run a lion running. Oh no! A lion licking her cub. Kimba invented this. Kimba invented a lion licking her cub. Oh no, some of the characters are babies. <laughs> like, what is this? This is from the end credits of the 1989 show. This wasn't even like a scene. This is like the end credits. Something that was like completely separate from everything else. Oh no. Concept art where, where Simba is, is attacking some hyenas. Did you know that Leo the lion? Actually, this was probably uh, Caesar, or what was his name in the Japanese version? Panja? He's attacking African wild dogs. Oh no! Two different shots where, where the lions are attacking other characters! What a ripoff! Okay, so the scar similarities are the closest ones in design. Right. And look at that! They even, in the concept art, they even had the scar in the other eye! So, so, okay, hold up for one second. So this is 46 seconds. So, if, if concept art in of itself, nothing to do with the actual film, if literally the concept art is something that is damning, and, and Walt Disney's concept art showing a white lion as one of the many, many, many designs that they had for potential character designs in this show. If that is damning, the fact that there is a white lion there, then why doesn't it matter that Scar's... Scar is on the opposite side this time. He's a completely different color. He's gray. Why isn't the car... If, if your logic is that concept art is damning, damning towards Disney, then why doesn't concept art also exonerate them then? Right? I'm just following their logic here. Anyway, what is the, what is the similarity between this? He's laughing on a cliff? How many, dif how many different, like, scenes and scenarios and settings do you think possibly exist in Africa when you're making a story about lions and royalty? It's ridiculous. How are these anything similar? There are other animals in Africa. Got him, busted. There's a mountain. <laughs> and again, this is concept art. This wasn't even in the film. And also, this is probably the 97 movie. I'm pretty fucking sure that's the 97 movie. Holy shit. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's nothing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they tried out a variety of designs. That's how large companies work. Oh my god. Look, he looks like a fucking wood woodpecker in there. He looks like Woody Woodpecker. Like... What the fuck? How are these similar? I hate this video so much. Oh, a sunrise! Nobody's done that before, Kimba. That's copyright Kimba. <laughs> This is the 97 film that came out three years after The Lion King! This is the 97 film that came out three years after The Lion King! Look at this! Look at this manipulatively vague title! Kimba and The Lion King. How similar are they? Just- just to, like, absolve themselves of any ev uh, of any, like, actual accusations. Like, if somebody says, like, Hey, why did you use the 97 movie and pretend- pretend like that ripped off a movie- or that was ripped off by a movie that came out in 1994? They'd just say, Oh, I never said they ripped them off! I just said, Kimba and the Lion King, how similar are they? Hmm... I just said that- I didn't say anything accusatory. I just let all these fucking- Oh, comments are turned off so Oh, I'm glad I screenshotted some of them. They're probably watching my streams. Oh, they're probably watching my fucking clips now. 
Oh, I'm downloading this now. This is insane. Holy shit. Oh, I'm glad I screenshotted some of them when I did. That's so funny. Holy shit. This is insanely manipulative. This is insane. This is absolutely fucking bonkers. I'm sorry. This is the 97 movie. They turned off comments since I started doing my streams. I was just going to show you some of these fucking comments. <laughs> Do you need any more evidence, people? This is fucking ridiculous. This is the 97 film. Three years after The Lion King. 97 film right here. Not even kidding. Still the 97 movie. That's from the intro from Kimba. Like, what, do you, what are these similarities trying to imply? I'm downloading the other videos from their channel right now. Holy shit. I'm not letting them get away with this. Holy fuck. I gotta download these while I can. What kind of comments were there? There were people that had watched my stream saying, uh, like, oh, what? You guys got it all wrong. <laughs> and this person would, like, very quickly respond to those particular comments. Um, so someone who watched my stream about Kimba, they'd be like, what? Kimba's not even a show. It's, it's, sorry, Kimba's not even a movie. It's like a, a TV show, right? Um, which is a little misleading. Um, so basically what happened is like they took any opportunity to fact check and correct the people commenting uh, that were saying anything slightly wrong that shared my perspective. Meanwhile, meanwhile, all these other fucking comments on the video literally saying... I can't believe they ripped off the Lion, uh, Lion King, ripped the entire story off. I knew that they ripped off a bit, that, but they ripped off everything. Crickets. Crickets from this video uploader didn't give enough of a shit to correct those mistakes. But, but if someone says, did you know that Kimba wasn't actually a movie, but it was a show? They'd leave a comment in response saying, well, actually, it was a movie and a show and blah, 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 blah. Like, you're wrong. What the fuck? Like, you're not being honest. I'm sorry. Like, if there... My, my video isn't an argument against Tezuka and the initial complaint, right? It's not an argument against those things. It's an argument against these fucking people that make these videos in an incredibly manipulative way. And, like, either they're lying to themselves and they don't believe that they're being manipulative... Like, perhaps that there's no actual malice here, but, like, they... I know that they checked their comments sections before they turned it off. I know that they checked their comments sections, and they knew what people walked away with after they saw the video. They walked away with an incredibly misleading, inaccurate version of events. Right? Whether or not you believe that you were doing that, it's like, that's what you were doing. Whether or not you want to admit that to your... Did you leave it up because you know you're going to get more views? I don't know. Like, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to start internet drama here. I really don't like internet drama. But, like... I think that, I think that copyright infringement accusations are a serious fucking thing. They are. They're really a serious thing. And when you're, like, tarnishing people's careers and reputations just to get some views on the internet, I think that's fucking ridiculous. Honestly. And when you make that video, how similar are they? And include clips from the 1997 film. You're adding to that problem and you are being... How do you think it would feel to be like the writers and creators of The Lion King? And these videos exist and dumb fucks who don't do their research watch these videos and walk away with, from it. And I've screenshotted the, these comments and I'm glad I fucking did. Holy shit, they turned it off already. They turned their comments off since I started watching and talking about it. Holy fuck. I'm glad I screenshotted some of these comments. But, like, people walk away with from it being like, Oh my god, the Lion King stole their entire story, their entire everything from this movie. And they think that Kimba is, like, one movie or something. Like, it's just... I can't believe it. Comments are off on all the videos now? That's hilarious. Holy shit. I'm not trying to, like... Obviously, don't send harassment their way. Or anything. I'm not trying to start, like, internet beef. I just think that this is, like, absolutely irresponsible. When you... I get it. You're a Kimba fan, and you're sad that Kimba isn't as popular as The Lion King. And there are some 
legitimate, legitimate reasons to think that the Lion King was inspired by Kimba. But when you create a video like this, I'm fucking sorry. This is incredibly misleading. This is the most popular video on the subject. This is the most popular video on the subject, I'm pretty sure. This is what people use as evidence. And I'm not even get like... I'm gonna find that fucking article. Hold on one second. All right. <laughs> Mashable India. This is, this is how this shit spreads. This is how this shit spreads. This right here... I'm sorry. Look, see, see this line right here? This is a screenshot from this video. See this, see this defining line right here? The person that wrote this article watched their video and posted this. And this is from the 1997 film. This came out three years after The Lion King. I'm sorry. What? You watched the video and made this article. Look at this. This is, this is, this, th these articles are parroting. They trust that this person who has seen Kimba has, like, done their research or some shit, and they're acting in good faith. But they're not. <laughs> they're including clips from the 1997 movie. I'm sorry, what the fuck? You can't have a shot of zebras with a branch? There was no pride ro The way that this is edited makes it seem like this is, like, the same location. Like, oh, they're going back to their home, Pride Rock. There was no pride- th These are just random mountains throughout the show. There are random cliffs. Random cliffs at any given point throughout the show. There's a billion cliffs in Kimba. This is from the 1997 film. This is from the 1997 film. This is 1997. You keep using it. Why do you keep using it? Why are you using you? This is from the 1997 film. This right here. And again, the person who wrote this fucking Reddit post, who I'm trying not to be mean to, but when they include shit like, as well as the gathering of animals towards rock and a be benevolent king, that's from this shit from three years after the Lion King. My God. And this is why I'm going to go through the manga too, is because the, the best defense that you can have for including clips from the 1997 film, the best defense that you could have would be, oh, these exact same shots are in the manga too, which I don't think they are, and I'm going to go through it. And my, my, question, my question to that would be, why did you not include the manga on the right-hand side of the screen here? Why did you include clips from the 1997 movie and not just the manga? If 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 that's the claim that you if if the claim you're making was like oh yeah it's a similar thing from the manga and that was created first why didn't you use the manga why didn't you include clips from the manga why are you using the 1997 film yeah this is so unfair this is so incredibly unfair this comparison this is actual bullshit oh no there were alle look at that that's two separate shots alligators and then sorry crocodiles and then birds or whatever. And it's like, ooh, in this one, cr birds came out of the crocodile's mouth. That didn't happen here. These are two different shots. You connected two different shots together. You, your intended goal here, your intended goal was to make it look, to, to draw as many connections as possible towards The Lion King with Kimba. This is the 1997 film. Again, this is the 97 film. And people watch this shit and they don't do their research. This is the 1997 film. Again! Oh no! The two characters fell down a cliff at some point. Ugh. I, I'm so glad I screenshotted some of the comments. I wish I did more. I had no idea they were going to turn it off. Oh my god. This is so ridiculous. This is actual such bullshit. Actually such bullshit. I can't believe this. It's so manipulative. It's so incredibly fucking manipulative. Are there similarities? 100%. But this is, like, way, way blown out of proportion. And I, I, I can't fucking... It, it's, it's immoral. It's incredibly immoral. I'm just, like, it's so dishonest. And they knew what was happening in their comments section, and they knew what impression that they were leaving people with, and they were fine with it. Mm. They were fine with slandering 
these people's careers, right? And it's just, I, I can't honestly support that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through these in my video. Again, so like, yeah, look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. And the person in this Reddit post, again, like as soon as they say shit like, and a comedic warthog, I know they haven't seen the show. I know they haven't seen the show. Because when this shot is used, this is literally one fucking episode. It's not a main character. It's not a main character. It's not a comedic warthog. Yeah. You know what? You know what's a common trope? You have you show a character's butt when they're like kind of fat and they're supposed to be like kind of a joke, right? That's not a new thing. This isn't a ripoff. This isn't a ripoff to have a character's butt being shown that's a warthog. Wow, they were at a watering hole. They were both at a watering hole. How many fucking locations do you expect them to have in Africa? For them to be able to, to create this story. It's so unfair. The way that this is presented, you look at these scenes from The Lion King, and any f dumb fuck viewer of this who hasn't seen Kimba and is just blindly believing what is said here, they, they associate the clip on their left with their memory, and they go... Oh, this is what happened in Kimba too. Kimba also looked out, and he and, and he had friends that introduced him to this like nice little location here. What's fucking crazy about this is like, I'm pretty sure here, and I'm gonna fact check this later. Pretty sure this is like from the '65 show, and then one shot later, even though that's literally all the same clip on the left, this is from the '97 film again. This is the 97. Look how different the quality and animation that in there is. And it's edited together to look like one continuous clip. First of all, the whole friends introducing the character to like another location sort of thing like this is your home. What? That never happened in Kimba. That's not a thing. Like what? What is this? The bug thing? You were eating vegetables. Kimba was a vegetarian. That was like his whole fucking outlook. It's like, he convinced the other animals to eat vegetarian because he didn't want the other animals eating each other. That was what it was in Kimba. Why are you showing these clips together? This is so dishonest. Oh no, he at first did not like vegetables and then warmed up to them? That's the same as him learning to eat bugs from his friends Timon and Pumbaa. What? No, Kimba did not, not die of malnutrition because the show creator- Again, this is the 97 film! This is the 97 film! Three years after The Lion King! Kimba did not die from malnutrition because the creators of Kimba had no fucking idea how things worked in real life. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is fucking bullshit. I can't believe this. What are you doing here? First of all, I'm looking down at something... Again, fucking trope here. Oh no, shots of them running. Like, like you can't, if you have a lion character in a film, you're not allowed to show them running anywhere, especially in the desert. <sighs> Sorry, I started this trying to go through that. I, I was going to go through more of this fucking footage here, but this post just, oh my God, it's just, there's so much ignorant shit in it. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. The fact that Simba was originally white in conception. Yeah. Yeah, there were several designs for, for Simba. <laughs> yes, one of them was white. And are we even to believe that, that that, like, for sure the white character there was Simba? Do we even know that? Or were, were the anima animators just practicing drawing lions? We don't know. Does anybody have any proof? Or is that just something that people want to believe? You see that concept art by Disney, and it's just like the one white lion and one black lion and their cubs? Do we know who those characters were supposed to be, or were we just assuming the white one was Simba? Like, all right. Uh, Roger Ellers, you're in Tokyo or time where Kimba's father was a mascot for prominent Tokyo baseball team, and Kimba himself appeared in various... Uh, he was not in Tokyo by the time the remake series aired, however. Oh. I'm going to have to look up who... Uh... That's very important, actually. Because the... Uh... Like, going through all these different series, and there's a lot of them, um, the one that shares the most similarities to The Lion King would be the remake series. So it's funny that they say, yeah, he wasn't even in Japan <laughs> for the remake series, because, like, the remake series would be the closest one to The Lion King out of all of them, honestly. 
Accidentally referring to Simba as Kimba, that's not any kind of an argument. It's really not. You can accidentally refer to Kimba as Simba also. Right? Like, when something already exists in media and it's another lion thing and it sounds like Simba, there would be a slip of the tongue. That's not, that's not an unreasonable thing. Matthew Broderick, same thing. He thought that he had signed on to do Kimba remake of the show he knew as a kid because he knew of Kimba. And then he heard someone say Kimba. He's like, oh, Simba. And he's like, oh, Kimba. Like, that doesn't mean... Like, Matthew Broderick was not a part of the production of the movie other than voice acting. He didn't write it. He didn't come up with the character designs. So for him to think like, oh, I thought it was... I thought it was Kimba. That means nothing! Why is that an argument? Why... Everybody uses this as an argument. How is that an argument? So to be like, oh, I thought I was acting in a Kimba thing when they called me. I thought Disney was remaking Kimba. Yeah, from a phone call? He didn't like... Oh, my God. He wasn't a part of, like, th the actual production design. How is that an argument? Two of the lead animators of the film admitted familiarity to Kimba, and Fred Ladd, who imported Kimba to the U.S., alleged that at least one other animator had known ha was a known Kimba super, super fan, and there were Kimba masks in the Disney studio. I can believe that. I can actually believe that. No dispute there. I... I take issue with Disney saying that nobody on their team had seen Kimba. That was a very clear attempt at creating a legal defense in case there was any sort of copyright lawsuit brought their way. However, that does not mean that they ripped off Kimba. That does not mean that they ripped it off, right? And if we're going to go by something like this incredibly fucking manipulative YouTube video, it's like what you... They, they like analyzed the 3,000 minutes and, like, picked from, like, specific shots for no reason. <laughs> like, Disney sent a cease and desist letter for showing off the 1997 film Jungle Emperor Leo. That's bullshit also. Completely disagree with Disney on that one. That has nothing to do with my argument. Completely disagree with Disney on this. I disagree with how Disney handled this in, uh, publicly. Completely. What I disagree with is people thinking that The Lion King, the writers and directors that created this film, just ripped off this pre-existing material when there's really not much to support that at all. Yep, there are similarities, 100%. Yep, Disney's defense is bullshit. Don't disagree there at all. They're entirely different pro properties. They're entirely different properties. And my argument is not against Tezuka. And my argument is not to say that there's no chance at all that The Lion King was inspired by Kimba. That's not my argument at all. My argument is against people <laughs> that believe that The Lion King ripped off Kimba, that there's any sort of, like, copyright infringement justification here. Anyway. This is fucking obnoxious. All right, I want to know what this one's from. Is there a Kimba series that I'm missing? Because I haven't seen that design. Given the information found on the Anime Network website, it may have been released in 2000, partially based on the manga, same style as the 97 film. So yeah, it's like, again, created after The Lion King. <laughs> oh my god. And it was included in that video. It was included in the video. Oh, why? It's so misleading. A mini movie released in the year 2000. Look at the similarities between this and The Lion King. The Lion King ripped this off. Look at this. Released six years later, The Lion King had a time machine and ripped this off. Bullshit. I can't believe this. It's, it's just... My issue is with the public perception that is exacerbated by those types of videos that ha that don't care at all about the writers or directors of The Lion King, and they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking tarnish your whole career. You're plagiarists. I'll make an entire video insinuating that you're all plagiarists. I don't give a shit about you. I care about my own views. You know, I just, I'm just so sad that Kimba, my favorite show, didn't get as much attention as The Lion King, and I'm pissed off about that. So I'm perfectly fine 
tarnishing the careers of others that have worked hard on the, the, their passionate projects and making it seem like they ripped off the entire fucking plot. But oh no, if you ask me, if you ask me, it was just, oh, how similar are they? I didn't insinuate anything. Oh, it's, it's just a coincidence that people in the YouTube comment section were left with that impression and that I didn't correct any of them. But I was quick to correct people that watched fucking YMS guys' little streams. Ugh. So here are some of these uh, comments. <clears throat> Who else has never seen Kimba the White Lion? Kim is more of man versus nature thing. Lion King just made some references. How can you say that? They literally just copied, mo right, copied most of it. <laughs> 199 thumbs up. Kim Lion King copied many aspects of Kimba. You can find many side-by-side -side comparison videos on YouTube, yet Disney still claim that Lion King is their first original story movie. It would be wiser if Disney was just being honest that they adapted Kimba into the Lion King. Liar King. Me before this video. What the fuck? They copied the idea and even the name. Me after this video. What the fuck? They actually stole everything, and by everything, I mean every fucking thing. That's what people are being left with. I wish I actually, the one thing it looks like I didn't screen cap was uh, their responses to, like, the people that had watched my streams. And now, now their response is like, oh, no comments. No comments. What the fuck? That's so slimy. Specific, okay, here we are. There's specific things that I want to capture here. One is just how much of a fucking, like, ready to fight character Polly is, which is nothing like Zazu. Rah, fist raised in the air all the fucking time, right? I told you it'd be easy to find clips of this because it happens all the fucking time, right? He's got a, he's a hothead. He's got a short temper. Uh, what is this? Polly freaks out. Yeah. I'm going to have a billion clips of this to support my argument. Because I watched the show! Because I actually watched it! <laughs> Look at this! It happens all- this is like his character! How can people say this is Zazu? You did that on purpose! Either help us or get out of here! Now you either-, either... He's a short-tempered asshole! That is not Zazu at all! Right? It's really effortless to find these clips because it's the entire show. Oh, is he going to raise his fists again? Look at that. Look at that. Look how easy it is to find clips that show that 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 Polly is not the same character as Zazu at all. Look how easy it is to find these clips. I don't have to stretch. I don't have to be manipulative. It's it's there. Right? Whereas the counter argument, you have to be manipulative in order to make them seem like the same character. You have to actively deceive people in order to make them seem like they're the same character at all. What? You can't have a bird? You can't have a bird character in your fucking show? Oh, well, the main character's a lion. They can't have a friend that's a bird. Listen. Not allowed. Not allowed to have a bird character in your show because you already have a lion as a main character. That's not allowed. Look at him. Look at him in his fists. You see? He did what was right. No. <laughs> he's he's not Zazu at all. Yeah. So I'll throw this line in here too. Cause it illustrates, you know, the villain of this show also wants to be king. Not like that's a massive fucking trope for the villain to want authority and power over other people. Over the other characters, not like that's just how villains work in popular media. No, Kimba, in Kimba invented the idea of a villain character having a facial deformity, being darker, darker colored than the other characters, and wanting authority and power. Kimba invented that. You're right, Claw is not brothers with Kimba's dad. Correct. He also, <laughs> he wants to, like, fuck the little girl, which is really weird. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm going to add this to the hilarious clips. This is so weird. She's a little girl. You <laughs> will. 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> this shot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the panther character is more of a sidekick than the hyenas are, quite honestly. If we're gonna be perfectly fucking honest. It's funny, because they were concerned about, like, the violence part. But, like, the pedophilia thing, that's fine. It's so funny. The person in that YouTube video literally used this. So here's a... I'm gonna have a cliff compilation. <laughs> Look at look at him. Look at this character. Always with his fist raised. Look at him. How is this Zazu at all? You fucking morons. You're not allowed to have a bird character? What do you mean? That's what you're doing. Can anybody give me a reason? Just like, that's it, the only similarity. He's a bird. That's it. Why Kimba do this to his best friends? This guy is not Rafiki either. They're completely different characters. He doesn't have a trait as obvious as Polly's anger problem to, to, to make as compelling of a clip show about it. But they're not the same characters at all. Daniel is a non-character. Look at how fucking aggressive he is. Look at how aggressive he is. Zazu was not that at all. Lucky, that's the dumbest thing you've ever said. That you're you're either brain dead or you haven't seen the show. If you think that Polly is anything like Zazu at all, I'm sorry. That's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. I can't believe it. This is infuriating. It's infuriating that before I've even made my video and illustrated my points, like, in an edited, proper way, that people are already on the defense. People are already on the defense, not just this person, and I feel bad for criticizing them because they put a lot of work into this post, but they put a lot of work into this post reading what other people have said, and they haven't seen the show. They haven't seen the show. It's abundantly clear that they haven't seen the show. It's it's astronomically clear that they haven't seen the show. And I appreciate the work that they made into into creating this post and and parroting what other people have said basically, but you haven't seen the show. <laughs> like <laughs> So ridiculous. If you want to say that there are similarities between Kimba and the Lion King, Perfect. That is accurate. 100% accurate. If you want to say that it is incredibly likely and probable that people who worked on The Lion King were familiar with Kimba or had at least seen it, 100%. I believe that. Completely. But to stretch it and say that Polly is the same as Zazu because he's a bird? You're fucking ridiculous. You're an asshole. You're actually stupid. I can't believe this. You have to stretch so fucking far to get to that point, and now it's common knowledge. Because nobody's seen Kimba, and everybody trusts everybody else that's seen Kimba. People are like, oh, they've watched it, I don't have to actually look into it. Because Kimba doesn't look appealing, A, right? The reason why nobody's seen Kimba is despite these fucking videos, like this shit, going like, ooh, here's the side-by-side -side com comparisons. People watch this shit, Nobody watches this and is like, oh, I want to see Kimba. Because it looks like shit. I'm sorry. It looks like shit. There's a reason nobody's seen it except Japan. <laughs> like. <laughs> and the fact that nobody watches it is what drives this misinformation. Yeah, nobody wants to fuck Kimba. No, you know, like, I 100%, I hope that people believe me when I say this. Because it is 100% true. I started watching Kimba because I thought that what people were saying about it was true. I genuinely thought 
that The Lion King actually ripped off this show. And it was only once I started watching the show, the further that I got into it, the more that I realized what these shows were, the more I realized it was bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> like... And again, everybody arguing with me in my subreddit hasn't seen the show. That's what pisses me off, is that people are, like, invested in this idea. People are like, this is what has been decided as fact. You are going against this idea. You are conflicting with my worldview. There are other people who have researched this. I don't need to do my own research. I will trust those other people. Adam, you came out with the cor incorrect opinion on this matter. What the fuck? They're like, they haven't seen it. They haven't seen it. <laughs> Nobody's watched this fucking show. They got like 62 ratings on IMDb for the film. 82 ratings for the remake show. Nobody's seen this shit. Nobody's seen it except Japan. Like even even the original show that's the most popular was under like 600 ratings. Nobody who speaks English watches it. This show's so ridiculous. The first dozen or so episodes were like so ridiculous that they were kind of fun. I know you weren't here. Um and then, as it went on, it became like a fucking chore to watch. Oh, dead dad! <laughs> He's using it as a blanket! <laughs> That's his dead dad! <laughs> oh, it's so unintentionally morbid. It's so funny. I really don't see how Daniel is anything like Rafiki, other than the fact that he's a baboon. I really don't see the similarity between those two characters at all. That's that's just oversimplification. So you notice how we're like almost ten episodes in, and Claw has been in two of them. Like, you notice how, like, the themes of this show, how everyone's complaining that the themes of this show are, like, the the Lion King ripped off the, like, oh, needing to follow in my father's footsteps and, like, reclaim the throne kind of thing. You notice how that hasn't been in most of this? <laughs> you notice how the themes have kind of been all over the fucking place? Kimba went to France? Kimba went to France, guys. He went to France. They're learning- they're- they're doing agriculture this episode. It's all over the fucking place. This is the episode where they're trying to make a farm. <laughs> Alright, dead dad again. <laughs> the relationship with Kimba and his dad was also never developed. Kimba was born after his dad died. It's not the same. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. It is so unintentionally morbid. It is so weird. And what's really fucking weird about it, what's incredibly weird about it, is you watch this and you're like, oh, 1965, whatever. They bring back his dead dad's corpse in, like, every version of this show, all the way up to 97. In the 80s and 90s, they're still doing the dead, dead dad corpse thing. And it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's a cliff. Look, another cliff scene. One to add to the pile. 
I have like 50 of these things. Like, because as evidenced by the show, like what kind of conflicts do you expect them to have as lions in Africa? As evidenced by this very same fucking show. Like, there's going to be so many fucking instances of people falling off cliffs. Just because one of the hundred in this show seems to be a little similar. Like, the Lion King isn't allowed to use cliffs? The resemblance between the name of Kimba and Simba is because Simba means lion in Swahili. It means lion in Swahili. That's why. It's not a name just, like, picked out of fucking nowhere. That's why. And it's so sad that, like, people just say the same shit every single fucking time. Like, no... Ugh. There's, like, no counter-argument that's, like, out there. That's why I'm upset. Is everybody believes the exact same fucking shit. Not only, not only does Simba mean lion in Swahili, but there's a very clear, there's a very clear pattern to how the characters in The Lion King are named, right? Mufasa means king or some shit. Nala means love. I forget exactly what, but like the characters' names are all orchestrated in that way. It is not unreasonable to assume that a production where the characters' names were organized in that way would use a Swahili word for lion, the main character of the show. You can't honestly claim that, that, that the name Simba was used because they wanted to rip off Kimba's name. Why would they do that? Did, like, that would be to imply that Disney thought that Kimba was successful because of the name. Right? Sorry. Like, what kind of logic is there? to that. Nobody's watched this show and everybody acts like a fucking expert and it pisses me off. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm absolutely infuriated by this whole situation. By the fact that there's so many people arguing with me who haven't seen the show. Who haven't seen the show. That entire Reddit post was made by somebody who didn't see the show. Among several other Reddit posts criticizing me for these streams on Kimba who haven't seen the show. They haven't seen it. What the fuck? <laughs> Nobody wants to, clearly. Clearly everybody thinks it looks like shit. Because nobody wants to watch it because nobody's seen it. <laughs> uh. If they just- if, if the people making these criticisms just kept it to the legitimate ones, I wouldn't be mad. There's like a couple legitimate criticisms where you'd go like, hey, like Scar in particular, Scar, Claw. They're both, the names are like both based off of like single words that are used to define them, I guess, their features, right? They both have scars on their left eye. They're both a darker shade. And again, those things easily could have been independently come up with if the other hadn't existed, right? They're tropes. That's fine. But at least those are legitimate arguments. When people say shit like, what? Polly and Zazu fulfill the exact same character role. They're the same character. They're... What the fuck? You haven't seen the show! You haven't seen the show! As soon as you start saying shit like that, it's clear that you haven't seen the show. Since... They're not the same character at all! I can't believe it! Kimba, 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 Who's the down and deepest darkest Africa, Africa? I've seen that so much of this shit, it's- You have no idea what hell I've been through over the past few months watching all this fucking bullshit. You have no idea. And I wanted to just watch the one show. I wanted to just watch the one show and be over with it. But then when I started streaming about it and being like, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. This this whole criticism that the Lion King ripped everything off doesn't really hold much weight. Then people started making Reddit responses to me. They were like, ah, bah, 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 and now I had to watch all of it. And now I have to read through the manga. I have to do the whole thing. I have to watch all of it. Because people want to believe 
that the other people who have watched it have done their research and are unbiased and are not being incredibly manipulative and dishonest. This show is all over the place, so we still got our counter going here of how many episodes Claw is in. What episode are we at right now? What episode are we at? We're on episode 10. He's been in two episodes. And, like, to pretend as if, like, the dynamic or importance or, like, story structure or anything is the same is just so dishonest. There's very minor similarities that if you, if you present the information in an intentionally manipulative way, then you can convince people that the Lion King ripped off Kimba. Isn't it fucking- sorry, isn't it fucking insane for- let's- let's think about this perspective for one moment. This video was created in March of 2018. It has three million views. And only up until now did they turn off their comments because somebody did their research. It's been like two years and nobody did their research and I got three million views in that like ratio, like to dislike ratio. Only because nobody did their research. Fucking nobody, apparently. It's a weird fucking subplot where they gave Polly a love interest for, like, one episode. It was so weird. It's all over the place! To say- to say that The Lion King ripped off its themes would be to imply that the show had a consistent theme. Which it did not! It did not have a consistent theme! It had many themes. It had every theme throughout its entire run. It had every theme imaginable. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be my most controversial video. I'm freaking out right now and yelling at a bunch of shit. I'm, I'm not going to do this in my video. Hopefully, maybe not. So my plan for the video is to start it out with a statement about, you know, why I'm making this video because I'm making my Lion King review. Um, explain that there is a controversy and that I'll give my thoughts on the end of it. But the video also doubles as me wanting to show off a lot of hilarious moments of the show and talk about the show, right? And as it is, the people who haven't done their fucking research at all and watch these manipulative, insane videos like this the people that watch that shit and are left with like, oh, Lion King ripped off everything. The people who le left the kind of comments like this shit, they stole everything. Um, those people, before I even give any kind of statement on how I feel about the controversy of plagiarism, before I even give that, they're going to learn a lot. They're going to learn that Kimba is like 3,000 minutes worth of shit, which clearly they did not fucking no. The type of person that leaves this type of comment, which is a lot of people, they think that they're comparing 90 minutes of The Lion King to 90 minutes of Kimba. So before I even start on my like actual argument, they're they're going to have learned a lot about what the show is. And so by the time I get to the actual argument, I'm hoping that some people are like, wait a minute, I've been misled. <laughs> right? Um... So, the argument itself is going to be at the end of the video. I think that's the best way to format it. And I'm not going to be, like, unreasonable. You know, I'm going to give like I've done here, even though still doing it in an angry way. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, claim as though the possibility that the Lion King was inspired by Kimba is impossible, right? I'm not going to make that claim. I'm going to disagree, which I already do. I like, like I completely disagree with how Disney handled it publicly. I disagree with them making a cease and desist order for the 97 Kimba film. There's a lot of shit that Disney did wrong here, but I take issue with the public perception being that the writers and directors that worked on The Lion King plagiarized from Kimba. Very most worst case scenario, they were inspired by it. Worst case scenario, they were somewhat inspired by it in ways that don't even fucking matter into the entire core of the project, right? That's my issue, is that people are left with the 
uh, an insane impression, right? Kimba has faced. People are left with a completely inaccurate sequence of events here. And that's what I aim to correct here. Yeah, there's a Wild West saloon showdown in this episode, which is really weird. Yeah, also, like, what the hell is this? Like a spaceship <laughs> with a saw? <laughs> This is weird. Is the mammoth gonna show up? Yeah, the mammoth. Sh like, I don't, un I don't understand this mammoth character. She like shows up to save the day at certain points for no reason, and it like snows, and she comes over through like many different series too. Bye. Why were you here? <laughs> <laughs> As a very great poet once said, there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy? What the f what? <laughs> As a very great poet once said, there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. What does that mean? What? Hey guys, thanks for watching. As always, I need to give a shout out to my $5 patrons. Mecha Dong, Brandon Stuper, Brandon J. Barnard, Pitt Wang, Rasmus, Matthew Clark, Big Weld from Robots the Animated Movie, and Tequila Cinema. I hope you guys liked this most recent video, and I will see you later.